In the dictionary, poetry is defined as a literary work in metrical form, but I think I have discovered the simplest definition in the curve of your smile and the arc of your eyebrow and the smell of your neck. You are poetry. You are every word of every love poem I am too afraid to write embodied. You are the saliva spit from my lips to a microphone. You are the pounding heart rate you get when you're writing a poem that you love like I am right now because you are poetry and I love you and I'm starting to hate that word because I must have whispered the sentiment into your ear a thousand times and I still don't think you're getting it. I stare at you from across the hall just to make sure you're smiling enough. No, not the one you used to be polite, the one where I hope to live someday. The only thing of which I am certain is that I wish to spend the rest of my days thanking whatever God makes your chest rise and fall with breath. For whoever created you, their hands stained with clay and fire and passion, also sent you to me so you could teach me the difference between being loved and being fixed. And I have done nothing to deserve this lesson except love you. And this is why I'm starting to hate that word. Because I don't love you in that bullshit Degrassi Junior High homecoming date bubblegum tied to yours, wear my class ring, love me always kind of way. I love you because you exist. I love you the way rain loves a tulip, where it's worth falling if it means you get to bloom. Tomorrow, I will try and write a poem about being okay without you because I guess that's why tomorrows were invented. But today, I need you to know that I need you. I need you to know that my heart still tries to beat with yours, only I don't think you can hear it anymore. If tomorrow was exist, exists for the contented, for the brokenhearted trying to heal, well then today exists for the contented lovers, and it used to be my favorite day of the week. But now I dread its arrival, knowing your schedule to hold someone who is as okay with you as they are without you. You see, okay has never really been an adjective fit for my wearing, but with you around to help with the zipper better, slipped on perfectly well. And it's true that I want you. I want your scary and your darkness. I want to be woken up by your nightmares. I want every piece of yourself you keep hidden for fear of being alone, just so you can watch me stay. You have managed to find the only girl physically incapable of running away. And I am not poetry, but I have been blessed to be a writer of it a vessel for it, a vessel for you. You make me want to write poems on my eyelids. You make me want to forgive God, because I know God wrote this poem into my life, and I pray to read it until I go blind. 